India calls itself the digital powerhouse of the world. But after the AWS crash on October 20th and the Cloudflare blackout on November 18th, we need to ask a hard question. Does India really own its own internet? Here's a nightmare scenario. A major war breaks out. India takes a neutral stance. Or worse, a side that the West doesn't like. We're not worried about oil sanctions anymore. We are also worried about the digital kill switch. Stage one, the API ban. OpenAI, Anthropic, Gemini, they are all US-based. If they block Indian IP addresses, 90% of our new AI startups die overnight. All those GPT wrappers gone. Our innovation paused instantly. Stage two is trickier. You'll say, we have laws, data must be stored in India. Sure, the hard drives are in Mumbai, but a control plane, the software that actually runs the servers, is managed in Seattle or California. If a license is revoked, our data is just locked in a box that we can't open. Stage three, the actual shutdown. AWS and Azure are the backbone of our private banking interfaces, our logistics, our quick commerce. And how can I forget UPI? If the West decides to pull the plug, digital India goes dark. We just don't lose Netflix, we lose the ability to function as a modern economy. Well, we are building roads and airports, but we are renting our digital land. Until India builds its own sovereign cloud and foundation models, Atmanirbhar Bharat is just a tenant in big tech's house, waiting for an eviction notice.